students. On a similar note, three students at Kenyon Crest Academy are working on a documentary to bring awareness to young students about COVID-19 testing and the need to wear a mask and social distance. We are about to talk to one of those students behind the film. This is Nico Maccioni joining us live via Zoom. Nico, great to have you on. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. And you are a senior at Kenyon Crest Academy. Is that right? Yes, I am. All right. So tell me a little bit about why you decided uh, to be part of a documentary, make a documentary about COVID-19. Well, after looking at the statistics of the San Diego County, um, those aged 10 to 19 are one of the highest groups that are currently getting infected. And um, although they're not the ones that are possibly in a life threatening position, they are potentially the ones that are passing on this virus uh, to those that are vulnerable. And uh, being in that age group 10 to 19, I personally feel responsible of informing them of the proper safety precautions um, to really just save lives. And how is the film going? How is the filmmaking process going? Where are you guys at in the process? Yeah, so um, just this past uh, weekend, uh, thanks to Rady Children's Hospital, uh, we were able to film all the physicians, the nurses, the doctors that are really just currently on the front lines combating this pandemic. Um, and we were able to film all their experiences, um, everything up to the beginning of the pandemic. And uh, yeah, now that we have all the film, we're currently uh, working on uh, editing it and uh, publishing it in the upcoming weeks. Yeah. Uh, Nico, as a, as a young man, tell me a little bit about why you think uh, young, you know, uh, younger teenagers, even young adults, may be more resistant to following the guidelines, mask wearing and social distancing. What's going on? Why do you think that's the case? Well, um, because I believe that uh, those that are younger kind of feel like they have this invincibility factor, like, oh, it won't affect me. But um, our goal is to really just inform them that it may not affect them directly, but it may just really devastate those around them. So that's really our goal here. Very good. And once the documentary is complete, what's going to happen? I mean, is this part of a, uh, I imagine this is, you're going to get some sort of credit for school? Yeah, of course. So yeah, this is just only our first step. We plan to make this video, but then we also plan to go further uh, to really just have this uh, project just go countywide. Very good. And now are you at this point looking for any help with the documentary or are you looking to do more interviews or are you now kind of going to zero in on completing the film? Um, yeah, I think we just want to uh, zero in on completing the film. Very good. OK, so it's yourself and I understand two other students. Yeah, so two other students from Canyon Crest Academy. Uh, along with uh, Rady Children's Hospital, we're currently working on uh, creating this film. Um, I think that's amazing that you were at, given access to uh, some of the physicians there at uh, Rady Children's Hospital. I mean, they're dealing with, with so much and, they, you know, their patients are children, so it's even more critical. What have you learned about what they have told you about the COVID-19 and the guidelines and precautions that need to be taken? Well, I think every single one of them, they, every single one, immediately they just told me to just simply wear a mask and really just wearing a mask, washing your hands. It could just just really go a long way to just prevent this uh, pandemic. Very good. Nico Maccioni, is there anything else you want San Diegans to know about this documentary that you are putting together for Kenyon Crest Academy? Um, yeah, just if you would like to uh, access uh, this video, we're going to be post, uh, posting it on Instagram and also YouTube. Uh, so if you could follow us on Instagram, it'd be covid.collaborative, no spaces, no capitals. And then if you'd also like to watch the video on YouTube, um, it would be covid.collaborative, no spaces, no capitals. Very good. Nico Maccioni, thank you so much. Uh, good job. Um, I can't wait to talk to you once the whole process is complete. We'll keep in touch with you, that's for sure. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you for having me.